All right, so welcome again to Military Guna TV. Thank you for joining me, guys. And today I want to speak about two players, the, reg- the right back position for the Reggae Boys. We have two players I want to speak about. Two? No, yes, two players, but specifically the right back position for the Reggae Boys. And I want to guess what you guys to do: smash the like button and also hit that subscribe button as well. While they had it, the two players I speak about is Javon Brown and also Greg Lee. Now I want you guys to go in the comment section and tell me what you think about their performances for the for the, um for the, the November um fixtures. Tell me their performances. So we're gonna get straight into it, people. We won't waste any time. What the wrong thing right there? <laughs> we, won't, we won't waste any time, people. Any time at all. Good. Now let me start off with. I'm gonna start off with first. Greg Lee. He's the first person I'm, I'm going to start off with. Now, Greg Lee is having a, a really good season at Morecambe. A really, really good season, people. Um, I'm not sure if most of you guys know where he play. It's in the Morecambe. The League Two, League Two, League Two. I think it's the League. It's in League, League Two. <laughs> um, but definitely, people. What I want to tell you is that he's having a good season, a very, very good season at this point in time. Um. Up to yesterday, they played a game. Um, let me check it because I knew that they played, but they had a very, very good performance yesterday. Let me find out the name of the team that he played against. Um, good. It's in League One. They played against Charlton. They played against Charlton. Um, he had a good game. Actually, I just I, I just have to watch, watch highlights. Um, one key pass is 39 total passes. You have 75 touches, um, 10 clearances, five tackles, four interceptions. And four and, and two falls made. So it was really, really engaging. And uh, throughout the team, only two persons got higher ratings than him. That is the defender, centre back O'Connor, and um, the striker um, Stockton, who actually scored a penalty. So you could you could actually look at that and understand the reason why you would get got uh, you, have, you would have gotten higher ratings than Greg Lee. But what I'm telling you, people, is that he's looking really, really good. So, um, very, very good form right at this moment. Now, as you can see from the tweet here, Greg Lee was a breath of fresh air when he came on um, on the pitch for a taxi versus the USA at the office. Um, he was having he's having a really good season at Morecambe, and he know and no, he made a huge step up to the international. And now he has made oh, that should have been now. And now he has made a huge step up to the international level. But the reason I'm talking about these people. Um, someone inboxed me from um the Morecambe, a, a, a journalist from Morecambe inboxed me and asking me how did he perform, how did he look throughout this throughout the campaign, um throughout these two games, and I, I informed them exactly what happened, what I saw, and informed them that he looked really really good, and they actually made their report from that. They also went on and rewatched the game and then came back to me and said. Yes, he looked really, really well, really, really good. And they are actually in fear of him moving on to somewhere else because I think he might get another move, make another move. He's 27 years old, so you know he has time on his hand. Def- well, he's not the youngest, but he's actually in, in his prime. But what I can say for a fact is that when he came on to the pitch in that World Cup qualifiers game, he was he looked really, really good. Um, and it begs to differ. You can say that um, the reason why Taxi is not performing at his ultimate base is because um, Taxi was literally was literally run into the ground. <laughs> yeah, Taxi was run into the ground, run into the ground, people. Um, from club game to international, club to international, no break at all. And right now, Taxi is actually one of the persons who is paying for that. He's literally paying for that. But as you know, that is that is the world of football and how football um set up. Let me see. I'm trying to find the 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 the, the, the game stats that he had in the, the Jamaica game. Okay, so his rating was actually 7.3. 7.3 was his ratings. Um so he played a total of 45 minutes, second half change. Um, one block shots, two interception, one tackle, one ground duel completed, four aerial duels completed, last possession, only 12 time, not much for someone who's booming forward. Um, and he made one key pass, one key pass, eight long balls attempted, and four completed, and he had one shot off target. But in all essence, Greg Lee, he looks like the the, 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 the left back um, that we should actually try moving forward with. It's hard to say because you know we all are, are extremely loyal to 
um to taxi but at some point in time we would have to recognize that um that is just how the game of football is despite how you feel about a particular player that's just football that definitely is just football tax is a good player um just only two years older than Gregory, but that is just football I'm, I'm i'm checking something here i'm running their stats side by side for the four 53 for the seven defensively 54 okay okay so Gregory actually has more of higher stats than, than taxi Ooh, i never knew that I just looked at it, people. I never knew that at all. I'm being honest. I never knew that. I never knew that. No. The, the, the next player that we want to look at is people. The next player that we want to look at is the right back. No, we have been suffering from the right for the right back position in that right back position for a long while. No, a lot of the fan base, a lot of the fan base are asking for this young man. 22 years old. 22 years old, Javon, Javon Brown. Or Javine, or Javine, 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 Javine Brown, Javine Brown. <laughs> Twenty-two years old people. You, we can't. We, you cannot say that this guy is not worthy of a solid starting eleven in, in as a mainstay in the starting eleven. Yes, we can see that he, he was a bit um rash in some aspect of his game, very very aggressive as well. But you cannot look past the fact that he did look solid as a right back, knowing when to go forward. No one went to slip back and help out the defense. Um, let's look at some of his stats. Um, three, um, three clearances. This, these stats are actually from the USA game. Um, three clearances, three interceptions, two tackles. Um, come out here, three fouls. I'm um, encountering eight ground, du um, seven ground duels. He won two of them. Um, what else? Hmm, he attempted one cross, he didn't complete it. Two long ball, one was completed. But from, from, from a stat perspective, he did okay. But from the eye test, he looked really, really solid. Um, yes, he could have gotten a card as well. <laughs> I'm being honest. He could have gotten a card as well. But um, at age 22, he can only get better. Now, one of the reasons why I wanted to highlight um, Jav um, Javain Brown is because we know the two the other players that are vibe, um, fighting for that same position at the right-back position. O'Neill Fisher, Alva Spoil, two of Tapa Whitmore's um, loyal um, servants, you'd say. Very, very loyal um, compatriots. And it seems as if these guys cannot fall out a favor of Tapa Whitmore. It doesn't matter how bad they are playing. But when Jav um, Javine Brown ca um, came into the team, you can see a player who is playing consistent football, who knows what they're doing. Not saying that the other players don't know, but he's playing... Oh, he's 24. My bad people, he's 24 years old. Um, he's, playing consi he's, he's playing consistent football and knows how to... How to um how to, to, to roam that right back position. He does not lapse, he knows when to go forward, he knows when to sit back. And as I said, people, he can only get better. Now, if we should have him as a mainstay in our team right now, have him as a mainstay in our team right now, the only thing can happen now is for him to get better. That is the only thing can happen for him to get better. And that's what I'm looking forward to. I'm looking forward to see him improve in how he plays uh, and definitely get significantly better um, in, 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 in his trade. But the time will come. The time will come, people. The time will come. So I won't go any further, but the question is, people, I want you to answer this question and put it in the comment section. Answer this question and put it in the comment section. Do you believe that... Um, let me see. Yes. Do you believe that these two players should be the main say in our defense line until, until um, the other two players, as um, the other players, Taxi, O'Neill Fisher, um, Alva Spoil, have proven themselves um, has, uh, as the, 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 the viable option um, to to replace but these guys because from what we have seen from both of them um in the november, november fixtures it was like a breath of fresh air it was definitely a breath of fresh air from these players but we will see a lot of people are asking questions who are these guys um 
Hopefully, you, got, you get more information on who these players are. Javin Brown, Vancouver White Caps, 24 years old, at the right back position. Regular for um, regular starter for Vancouver White White Caps. Greg Lee, Marcombe, League One. Regular starter as well for Marcombe at the left back position. Very, very good left back. Physical of hardly pace in the world, both of them. Um, and they do have that defensive solidity. Knows when to get in, know when to dug in, know when to press, know when to stay back. Um, very, very intelligent players, both of them. And I would say for me, I'm looking forward to see both of them as as the main say until Alvas Paul, until um Oney Fisher, until Kemar Tax Lawrence has definitely stepped up their game because we've seen both um, all these players now and then um they haven't hit that um heights as yet and it's been a while now since they have dropped off form and at a average low and we really really want to see them coming back up but until then these two players who are putting in great performances, not great but really good performances, um should be the main say until we can say um the competition level has risen from the other players to remove them out of the starting lineup so um i definitely won't go any further hopefully you guys are doing good um as i said people go in comment section and tell me what you think do you believe that the, both of these guys should be the main say in the team for um for me i think so i really really think so so guys go in the comment section tell me what you think also hit the subscribe button also hit the like button as you know it really really helps the video and i would really appreciate it if this video hit um likes like target for this video mm, let's go 400 <laughs> 400 like 400 like target 400 uh, I'm, I'm aim for the sky and fall on the clouds i'm aiming 400 people uh military guna tv people this has been really a good one i'm out pop i'm out i'm out i'm out <laughs>